Uh, it's been a hundred years since Max Planck won the uh, Nobel Prize for quantum physics. <clears throat> I was wondering if um, he stated that matter was a derivative of consciousness. Mm -hmm. So that was his, his original theories. Mm -hmm. I just wonder if it's been a hundred years since he came out with that theory. That how, how much confidence do you have that the father of quantum physics, um, if he couldn't alter the stream of uh, the development of physics, are you confident that your theories will be picked up? Well, not necessarily my theories as, as you know as my big toe, but virtual reality, yes. The reason virtual reality is going to win uh, in this game is because it's better physics. The experiments will continually show that this world is not, you know, based on material. It's not a material reductionist process. And experiment after experiment will verify that, as it had back in his time. You know, he'd had the double slit that told him that consciousness was fundamental. Einstein said consciousness was fundamental. Baum said consciousness was fundamental. And everybody else said, okay, if that's true, how does it work? What's your model? And they said, uh, I don't know. Don't have a model. Virtual reality wasn't a concept that could be thought of in 1920, that you would compute a reality. You know, what were the computers like in 1920? They certainly weren't going to be computing any reality, were they? You know, it just wasn't a concept. So it really wasn't in the 1950s that we even had a computer worth calling that. You know, you know, before that we had sh strings with beads on them and things. You know, that, those were the computers. So, so they didn't have the wherewithal to find the answer. And because they didn't have an answer, you know, they, some of them, some of the best of them, Einstein being one, beat their head against that wall. Einstein spent the last 25 years of his professional career trying to come up with unified field theory and failed. There's not too many physicists or any other academician that can work on something for 25 years and publish nothing and not be a disgrace and thrown out of the school. Publishing is what they live on. That's, that's their, their coin of trade. That's how they go up. And Einstein had a big enough name that he could do that and get away with it and still be, you know, the smartest guy on the planet. Most people would be a career ender. So rather than beat your head against that wall and come up with nothing because there weren't any concepts around at the time that made any sense. Instead, they chose, it's just weird science. This quantum mechanics will never understand it. No one will ever understand it. It's just weird science. Get used to it. Get over it. It's going to be that way. Okay, I'm quoting Feynman here. Right? Nobody will ever understand it. It's just weird science. So that was a cop-out on admitting we just don't know. We have no clue how this might work, but we see that, that materialism isn't the answer, but we don't know what the answer is. That would have been an honest evaluation, but nobody really wanted to say that. So they said, it's just weird science, and nobody will ever know. That wasn't being real, real honest, but it felt better for them to, to say that. So yes, things will change now for two, re two or three reasons. One, the science is better. There's more experiments showing that materialism is wrong. It's more than just double slit experiment. There's lots of experiments in the last decade that have shown that materialism cannot answer the mail. Virtual reality has gone from a few people thinking it was okay to thousands of people in physics departments thinking it's okay. It's growing. Physicists of tomorrow will have been playing no man's sky for, you know, since they were 10 and 12 years old. Virtual reality will not be a big, scary, weird thing. It'll be something that, yeah, it works that way. I can see how that would work. That's not such a big problem. So everything's changing. And when quantum mechanics made that big discovery, hardly anybody knew about it except other physicists. Today, if you walk out to the man in the street and say, do you know about the double slit experiment? They'll say, what? That's, nobody still knows about it. It's unknown, really. 
the whole idea that materialism has already experimentally been debunked is not common knowledge and it's not accepted knowledge even among physicists. It's kind of, they're in denial of that by calling it weird science rather than calling it I don't know. So that's going to change. It has to change. Too much pressure. Younger people will come in that don't have the problem. And now with an internet, more and more people have heard of the double slit experiment. More and more people understand that there's a philosophical problem with materialism. That's not a, just a one half of one percent of the population. Now it's maybe five or ten percent of the population is hearing about that. And the internet can spread things really fast if the things are sexy and interesting. They spread fast. Well, that this whole reality is run by something non-physical is pretty sexy and interesting to people who think big thoughts. That'll spread fast. So yeah, I think that even though in the 20s they know, they knew what they knew, materialism didn't work, but they didn't have anything else to replace it with, so they were just stuck. Now we do, so we're just getting unstuck. So yeah, I think it'll be a major change.